In this video, I'm going to do a very brief run through of a tool called Topaz Sharpen AI. Now, Sharpen AI is a tool from the Topaz Labs group, and it's designed for photographers to help them sharpen their images and also perhaps try and reduce uh, shake or blurriness within the photos. It does this by using artificial intelligence to try and understand what should be there and improve that area through a whole range of different um, mechanisms. Now, it is important to understand that with all of these pieces of software, they can only do so much. So if you've got a completely blurry photo, no software is going to improve that. But there are plenty of scenarios where that you might have just missed focus or there could be a little bit of blur and that's where tools like this come in. So you can see an example on their website. The before section shows a little bit of blur on the bird and the after section shows that that's been removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of my photos and we're going to see what it does. So I've got over here a slightly blurry, well a very blurry tiger photo. And I wouldn't usually show these because this would have typically gone straight to the recycle bin. But in this case, I think it's a good example of um, showing what the software can do. So in terms of the interface, this is very similar to the other AI suite. There's the split button where the left shows before and the right shows after, or the left could be considered original, the right could be considered processed. Now, you don't see any difference at the moment because I haven't done anything to the photo yet. You could also click on original and that'll take you back to the original. And over here, you can see zoom. At the moment, I've got it on 50%, but you might want to zoom into a certain section. So you change the zoom. Then there's your navigator section. So this square, you can click and drag around to see different sections of the photo. Uh, and where you are within that photo. And then you'll see select process in mode. There's sharpen, stabilize, and focus. So in terms of getting the best out of this software, what you wanna do is understand what the root cause of the blur is likely to be. So is it camera shake? Is it a focus issue? Or is it general softness? Stabilize is effectively to reduce um, camera shake. So if you haven't used a tripod, there may have been a bit of um, motion blur and that's when you would use the stabilize within here, which is stabilize there. There's focus. And so focus is effectively when you've missed focus, obviously. Um, now this works typically at up to 10 pixels of focus blur. So that's what I was saying earlier, that it won't be able to remove, uh, it won't be able to correct a completely blurry image, but you may be able to get some benefit out of it. And so the last one is uh, sharpen. And so sharpen is just general sharpening. Um, so it might be that the photo is a little bit soft and you need to sharpen it. In this photo, clearly I've missed focus, um, or it could possibly be a little bit of um, camera blur. So we'll try both of those to see what happens. So I'm gonna put it on stabilize, and similar to the other pieces of AI software from Topaz, each of these sliders can be considered as the aggressiveness of what it's doing. So generally you wouldn't take it all the way to the right because you might get artifacts, but see what works for you. Uh, another thing to notice on this is that I have turned off automatically update preview. So what that means is I have to click on update preview to see the changes. Now you could turn this on and that may work for you, but because I like to change a few things at a time, I turn that off and then click update. So even though ideally you wouldn't go all the way to the right, I'm going to increase remove blur to 
effectively as aggressive as it can be. I'm going to leave suppress noise at about 0.7 and add grain there. So now I'm going to click on update preview and this will now start to analyze the image and try and improve it. So this at the moment is using the graphics card in my computer to get the best performance. Now it does work with CPU, but it is worth noting that your performance will be significantly decreased if you use a CPU rather than a compatible graphics card. It's not to say that it won't work, but it is to say that it will be much slower. And that's because a lot of this artificial intelligence stuff is fairly computationally heavy and um, CPUs aren't well designed for that. So you can see that has improved the photo a fair bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on split. So the left hand side is before and the right hand side is after. So you can see there is a significant improvement to what that has done to the photo. Now it has introduced some artifacts again because I've gone as far as I could. Um, so you might want to bring that back until the point where you're happy that it hasn't um, added any more artifacts or it's as good as you can get it. So it is worth seeing which one works for you. Um, and a lot of that is gonna be trial and error and it'll depend on the photo. So as I said, with this really, the main thing is working out what the root cause is. In this case, it was likely to be um, a bit of camera shake which caused me to miss focus um, so I've set this on stabilize I've set the remove blur to whatever setting I want and I'm let's say I'm happy with this photo now you know is it perfect of course not but it's certainly far more improved than what it was before so now I can click on save as and it will give me the save image as options. So I'm gonna keep this as TIFF. That's the name of the image there. Here's the path, compression, bit depth, and color profile. So I'm gonna click on save, and now it's gonna process this image, and it will do all of the um, file saving as it's processing, or once it's finished. Now I mentioned before, and I do think it's worth going over this again, around the performance of the software. All of these tools have been designed for graphics cards, so it is worth running one of the trials to see how it works on your computer um, in terms of what performance you can expect from the software. On my computer, I've got um, a Radeon, I think it's an RTX, um, and I'll put the details in the description below, but that's got eight gig of RAM, and this is using um, pretty much most of that, or it has the ability to use most of that. So it is a pretty good graphics card compared to an embedded graphics card that you would find in your you know, typical laptop, but um, other graphics cards may work. And on the Topaz website, there is a list of supported graphics cards, but the best way to go is to um, run a trial of the software to see how it works. And the trials are free. Um, they're a time limited trial, but at least you can see how it works. So at the moment, this is processing that image uh, using all of the settings that I've specified. Once this is finished, I'll show you the setting for CPU and GPU, just in case you ever need to change it. So if you go to File, and then Preferences, you'll see in Processing, there's Processing Mode. At the moment, that's on GPU, which is good, and actually allowed graphics memory consumption you can change. I'm going to put that on High rather than Medium, because I'm happy for it to use uh, more graphics. I very briefly spoke about, you know, working out the root cause of why your um, photo might be blurry and one of the other things I thought was perhaps it might be focus so I'm going to put this on processing mode focus and update preview and we're going to see how this changes the image so just recapping with focus 
it's good at correcting images that have up to 10 pixels of focus blur, but beyond that, it may not work nearly as well. So you're kind of going to have to work out what the cause is as to what is going to be most um, effective. And you can see here, there's not a lot of difference between the two. So this suggests it probably wasn't a focus issue. It was more likely to be a um, camera shake related issue. So stabilize was the right option for me. Um, yeah, so I'll do that one more time and you can see the difference between. So this is the focus setting. And it's now running the stabilize setting. So you can see there's a pretty significant difference on stabilize. Still not the best photo, but it's certainly far improved from what it was before. Thank you for watching the video guys. Um, hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified on more videos. Um, and stay tuned because there'll be a few more uh, videos on the AI suite from Topaz. Uh, more details will be in the description below.